Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can multiply with units of six. We're going to multiply and divide. We're going to talk about how we can use number bonds and skip counting to help us solve those problems. So our learning goal for today says, I can count by units of six to multiply and divide using number bonds to decompose. So let's start off with our application problem. So Marshall put six pictures on each of the six pages in his photo album. How many pictures does he put in the photo album in all? All right, so you're it. You guys are going to pause the video, solve this problem any way you'd like, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. So I noticed that in this problem, we have six pictures on six pages. So that tells me that six times six is how we're gonna solve this problem. I can draw a quick diagram from our previous lesson. So I have one six, two sixes, three, four, five, six sixes. I know that six, six, six sixes equals five sixes plus one six. The reason why I wanna break apart into that five six plus one six um, is because to me that's so much easier to multiply with fives. So I know that five sixes is 30 and one six is six. So 30 plus six equals 36. So six times six equals 36. So Marshall put 36 pictures in his photo album in all. All right, so let's look at a way we can solve that in a different way. So we have our same problem. Did any of you skip count to solve the application problem? Like you went six, 12, 18. Oh, some of you did? Okay, awesome, I love that. When we're skip counting by six, how do we get to the next number in our sequence? So how do we go from six to 12? What are we doing right there? Yeah, you add six to get to the next sequence. Okay, all right, so let's show how we can skip count by either making a 10 or adding to the ones. So this is where we're gonna be using those number bonds to decompose like we talked about in our learning goal. So here we have six plus six equals 12. So I know that I can break apart my six into a four and a two. If I do that, I can combine to make a 10 because six plus four equals 10. And then I have to add what I have left, which is 10 plus two equals 12. So that's how you can decompose that. Let's look at another one. So we're gonna use the same process to model six times three by counting by six. So we have 12 plus six, okay? Because we just did six times two. So now we're gonna do six times three, which is 12. I'm gonna break this apart into a 10 and a two because I want I can't make a 10 with either one of these numbers, so now I'm just gonna add the ones. But if I pull out that 10, it keeps it as a nice friendly number for us to be able to add. So now I'm gonna start with this where I'm gonna add my ones, so six plus two equals eight, and then add what's left, which is 10 and eight, so 10 plus eight equals 18. So 12 plus six equals 18. Which is also the same as six times three. Okay, friends, so we're gonna use the same process to model counting by six. I want you to try and skip count as high as you can using this strategy. So you're gonna model and where you're gonna draw it out just like I did, okay, where you're breaking apart to either make a 10 or to just add the ones. And you're gonna try and go as high as you can to solve as many as you can in two minutes. If you get all the way to 60, whew, you're a rock star. Okay, so this is where it's your turn to be able to do that. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer. So you go ahead and just let the video play as you're going through to solve, and then you'll hear the timer go off when it's ready for you to stop. Okay, all right, so make sure that you have your dry erase board ready. If you don't have it, go ahead and pause the video. And then once you have that ready, Go ahead and get started. Ready? Here we go.
All right, friends, time is up. Okay, so awesome job with however much you got done. Don't worry, you don't have to make sure you get all of them done. It's just good practice to talk about how you can break apart to make a 10 or add the ones. Okay, so what patterns did you notice counting by six? Yeah, so sometimes you broke apart the six to complete the 10, as in like six, eight plus 16 or 18 plus six. So in that last example that we did, we broke apart the six to be able to make things a little bit easier for us to add. And then, oh, so here, so how we did this one. So we broke apart the six. So 18 and two make that a nice friendly 20. And then 20 plus four is 24. So 18 plus six equals 24, which this is also the same as six times four. Okay. All right, so other times we broke apart the two digit number to add to the ones as in 24 plus six. So here's how you could do that. So 24 plus six, so I wanna make a 10, so I need to pull out a four to go along with the six because six plus four equals 10. And then I know that 10 plus 20 equals 30. So 24 plus six equals 30. Okay, so those are just some of the ways that you could do that. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about how we can use the distributive property to divide. So we've learned how to use the distributive property with arrays, now let's use number bonds. So here we have 48 divided by six. Let's break 48 divided by six into two smaller division expressions. So I, I'm thinking about 30. Why do you think 30 would make a good breaking point? To break that number bond up. Yeah, because 30 divided by six is an easy fives fact. So we know that 30 divided by six equals five because we know that six times five is 30. So let's see how we could do this. So we have our number bond of 48 divided by six. Our first leg on our number bond is going to be 30 divided by six. And then our second one, this could get a little tricky to think about how to be able to solve this. But the way that I like to think about it is I have 48, if I take away 30, I'm left with 18 and we're gonna keep divided by six for all of these. So 18 divided by six is going to be our other one. Okay, so that's our other part of our number bond. So notice how 30 plus 18 make 48, which is in our total for our number bond, okay? All right, so let's show that work with an equation. Okay, so we have 40 divided by six equals 30 divided by six plus 18 divided by six. Notice how I put those parentheses around there because that means you have to solve the part that's in the parentheses before you can add. So I know that 30 divided by six is five plus 18 divided by six, which is a smaller chunk that I have to divide by, so that makes it a little bit easier, is three. You can also check your work by doing five times six to see if it equals 30 and then three times six to see if it equals 18. So you can use those related facts with multiplication and division to help. Okay, so now I know that five plus three equals eight. So 48 divided by six equals eight. All right, so let's do another problem with 56 divided by eight. Okay, so think about it. Use those friendly fives facts to be able to help you because it's your turn. You guys are it to be able to solve this problem. So what I want you to do first is I want you to be able to come up with the number bond portion. So just what would our parts be in our number bond? So go ahead and click pause, write in for the number bond, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends. So I came up with 40 divided by eight because that's a friendly fives fact. Then to come up with my other fact, I did 56 minus 40, which is 16. So 16 divided by eight. Those are the parts for your number bond. So now what I want you to do is if you don't have those, I want you to look at those two parts of the number bond. I want you to click pause and I want you to write out the equations that match that. So just like we did in the last part where we added those two parts together, 
to be able to find the answer. Okay, so go ahead, pause and do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, if you need more time, make sure you click pause, otherwise here we go. So we have 56 divided by eight equals 40 divided by eight plus 16 divided by eight. I know that 40 divided by eight is five, and 16 divided by eight is two, so five plus two. We know that five plus two is seven, so 56 divided by eight equals seven, okay? So sweet, great job counting by sixes to multiply and divide. So we learned a couple different strategies today. So go ahead and give both of those a try um, when you're working independently and find which one works best for you, okay? So awesome job with that, friends. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.